consider a scenario where you have your network and all the DNS traffic should go to an external DNS server and all the DNS query for a specific domain. For example, in my case, suomit.com should go to an internal DNS server. And the client machine will be configured with an external DNS server, a .a 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 .a. and all the changes should happen on the 48 firewall. So how to achieve that? Well, this can be achieved on the 48 firewall using transparent conditional DNS forwarder. First, we'll see the uh, network topology. So we have the client machine for testing 10, 10, 10, 12 with a gateway 10, 10, 10, 108. I think this is missing here. And the DNS IP configured on all the client machine, 8.8.8.8, which is a public DNS server. And it is connected to port three with an IP of 10, 10, 10, 108. Public DNS 8.8.8.8 is reachable via port one with an IP of 192.168.0.108, which basically connects to the internet as well. Port two, 14.140.40.108, connects the internal DNS server, which is running on an IP 14140.40.11, which is going to take care of all the resolution for the specific domain, which is summit.com. So the intention here is to configure the 40 gate firewall to intercept the DNS query coming on to the port three, and then filter it out on the basis of the query if there is any query for the domain summit.com should be forwarded or redirected to the internal DNS server 14140.40.11 and rest of the traffic which is the DNS traffic should go to the external public DNS server which is 8.8.8.8 so the diagram is pretty simple now let's try to configure the firewall I'll share the link for the diagram and the configuration in the description for your reference. So this is the 40 gate firewall running on 760, which is the latest version as we talk. And it is running in NAT mode. Let's try to check out the network here. So as I explained, Port three is the LAN port, which connects the client 10, 10, 10, 108. And port two connects the internal DNS server. Port one connects to the external DNS server. IP is configured as per the diagram showcased earlier. Now, first of all, you will have to go to system, go to feature visibility, and enable this particular option which is DNS database which allows you to create zone and then do multiple filtering so click that apply and now if you come to network you will see this option available which is DNS server so first of all we'll create the DNS database click create new DNS zone, let's name it as uh, internal domain. And our domain name in our scenario is summit.com. I'm going to enter that. Let the host name be DNS. Contact email address, you can fill in here. I'm keeping it uh, default. TTL value is also default one day. You have to disable this particular option because this particular firewall is not the authoritative entity for this particular domain. And then here in DNS forwarder, you will have to mention the internal DNS server where we will be forwarding the DNS query to for the domain summit.com. So let's try to enter the IP here. So 
for the domain summit.com we will be forwarding the dns traffic to 14140411 which is the internal dns server click ok so now we have the database created for the dns zone let's try to move on to our next step which is this part so the 40 gate from the gui if you see you will not get the option to enter the source ip while forwarding the dns query to an external or internal dns server so to do so you will have to click on or you will have to use the cli so this is the configuration for the dns database that i have so to enter the source ip you will have to use the cli set source ip and source in our case is going to be 14140401008 and this will be useful in case you are using the ipsec or ssl tunnel and the dns traffic is coming through the ssl tunnel so in those scenarios you will have to use the source ip to avoid any sort of issues and you can see here authoritative is disabled we have the source ip configured you can refer the commands here that's it for this particular database configuration now moving on to the next step which is the profile creation so if you go to security profiles you will see dns filter you will have to create the new dns filter let us name it as dns test you don't need the 40 gate category based filter and we don't need this option as well strip encrypted client hello service parameters click ok so now we have the dns filter created with the name dns test and here also there are certain informations and settings available only via cli so you will have to get inside the CLI to enter that particular command, which is the transparent DNS database. So this particular option is only available from CLI on this particular version, which is the latest version. So I'm going to go to the CLI. Let me cross verify the name that we have given. set transparent dns database and now if you see you will see this particular option so this is the uh, profile that we have created the zone settings inside the dns database enter and that's it there's nothing else required in this particular dns filter and this is only possible where the cli so once that is done, you can close that. And now this is the DNS filter that we are going to use in our policy. So if you see the diagram, all the traffic will come onto port three and will exit the 40 gate firewall from port one to access the internet and to access the public DNS server. So we have to create the policy from port three to port one on 40 gate firewall. And Click on policy and object, firewall policy, create firewall policy. I'm going to name it as allow traffic. Action accept. Incoming interface is going to be our port 3. Outgoing interface is port 1. And source is going to be all. Destination is going to be all. Since we are testing, service is going to be all. For testing purpose, yes, we do. We require NAT, so we have this NAT enable and make sure the inspection mode is proxy mode because this particular transparent conditional DNS forwarder is only possible if you have the policy in proxy mode. So if you see here, so inspection mode should be proxy mode, proxy based. NAT enabled 
and I'm using the outgoing interface address for the translation and if you come down you will see the option of DNS filter enable this particular option and then scroll down select the DNS filter that we have created which basically is set for the transparent DNS forwarding so this is the one that we have created DNS test and log all traffic let's try to do that click OK so now we have the policy in place so this is the policy to allow the traffic and to do the DNS interception and do the respective DNS forwarding for the domain summit.com now the configuration is all set there is nothing required in the static route because all the interfaces and the servers are directly connected to this particular port 3 port 2 and port 1 so internal DNS server is connected to port 2 and external DNS server is connected to port 1 and all the routing is in place we have the static route default route pointing to the external upstream gateway so now everything is configured on the 40 gate firewall let's try to move on to our client machine so this is the client machine and this is the network adapter configured with an IP of 10 10 10 12 gateway is 10 10 10 108 and the DNS you can see here 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8. Let us try to set up the capture and let us try to set the sniffer as well so that I can showcase the redirection. So port 2 connects to the internal DNS server. So I have the filter running that captures on port 2 for the UDP packets and let me try to initiate some packet capture on our port 3 which connects to the client machine so you can see DNS traffic from the machine specifically let me try to initiate some traffic and show you some of the results so first we'll try to do the nslookup for google.com and you can see here the traffic is going to a.a.a.8 .a 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 .8, which is the external dns server and we are getting the query result and if you check here you should basically see the query here you can see google.com getting resolved via a.a.a.8 .a 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 and this is the capture on port 3 on the 40 gate firewall and you can see here there is no redirection from the 40 gate firewall for any domain which is not matching the summit.com let's try to do facebook.com and you can see here again i'm getting the proper resolution let me try to check the captures you can see here this is the facebook.com query coming on to the port 3 on the firewall and I can assure you that the traffic is not forwarded to the to the internal DNS server so now I'll show you what happens if I try to access my domain fg1.summit.com and we have configured the DNS database to forward the DNS query for the domain summit.com to our internal DNS server. Let's try to see what happens if I try to do that. 
and you can see here a dot a dot a dot 8 going to a dot a dot a dot 8 but we are getting the query result as 10 10 10 108 let's try to check the packet capture you can see first we'll check out the query here you can see here packet coming on to the 40 gate firewall on port 3 fg1.summit.com and reply going back now let's see if there is any redirection from the 40 gate firewall towards the internal DNS server so this basically proves that the query is getting redirected to the internal DNS server let's try to see if there is any host or record a entry for fg2 okay there is again we'll see the capture you can see here and in the capture i can show you the details you can see here fg2summit.com let me try to stop this capture and try to start the capture on our external interface which is port 1 let's have the filter for port 53 17 this will clarify even further you can see here all the uh, DNS traffic DNS query now I'll show you that there is no query forwarded to external DNS server for fg1.summit.com you can see here there is no query forwarded to external DNS server yet it is all redirected to the internal DNS server if I try to do let's say example.com you will immediately see that you can see here this is the example.com query and the resolution going back the final test this is for the Facebook you can see here this is the Facebook query going to external DNS server this is the capture on port 1 so that basically proves everything that the redirection or the DNS forwarding is working fine on the 40 gate firewall with the help of the configuration that we have done one thing that you have to make sure is that the policy is in proxy mode and you have the appropriate DNS filter configured and you have to make sure that the feature visibility is enabled for DNS database that's all in this video please do not forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button see you in the next video